All radio link flight controllers are done with automation test before packed for the quality control purpose. In this video, I'm going to show you how the radio link team does the does this test for the flight controller with mini picks as an example. And this is our mini picks. This is the, our test board. And this is our software with all test items displayed. Now this is the motherboard of the mini picks with without the outer shell. We are going to test the pins, all the connecting ports, the pins here, and the three sensors at the back of the motherboard. Now let's connect the wires from the test board to the motherboard. This is the telemetry wire. Then this is the second telemetry port. And this is the safety buzzer. And this is the receiver. Then the GPS. Now plug the motherboard onto the test board, into the test board. Then the last step is to connect the power wire to the motherboard to activate the motherboard. Then when the LED, the LED indicator on the motherboard flashes, it means that the motherboard is activated. Then we click test. When the green bar moves to, to the end, there's a word pass display on the software. It means that the quality of this flight controller is passed. Then let's simulate the situation with the GPS port disconnected. This is the GPS port disconnected. And we need to reboot the software and wait a little bit until the GPS, uh, until the motherboard is activated. And we can see that the two LED, the LED on the, on the motherboard flashing, is flashing now. Now let's click test again. And we can see that the word failed display on the software. It means that this flight controller, the quality of this flight controller doesn't pass the test because we disconnect the GPS and the GPS port doesn't function.